guys, it's uh, 556. We're about to head out on the mall for our first adventure. First stop, Starbucks. Tall black coffee. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? So we're here in the hangar in Spicewood, just basically West Austin, Texas. We're about to take off. Uh, we're going to the mall fly-in today, so follow along with us. And uh, it's my first time doing any kind of video like this, so hopefully it's not too terrible and hopefully we get some outside shots. We only have one audio cable going to the to the uh, GoPro, but we should be pretty good. Good morning. Setting up our YouTube here. Checking our Hobbs meter, 409.1. Getting all set up here. All right, we're doing our weight and balance check. We're figuring out all of the luggage that we can bring into this cute little plane. And Steve's also doing his pre-check work. What's up, guys? Shut that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Clear prop. Approximately 45 minutes inbound for New Orleans Lakefront. In uh, about uh, 30 minutes, we'll be entering our Class Bravo airspace, for New Orleans International Airport. This is your co-pilot Jasmine speaking. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It is 82 degrees outside, warm and sunny. Up Enjoy here, that weather. Up here, our temperature is about 64 degrees. I'm talking about the ground temperature, sir. Why would you do that? Because, Captain Steve, we're passing over the ground temperature. We're passing over the ground temperature. Pretty calm, no turbulence either. Nice flight overall. Yeah, I'm getting a little hungry. A little hungry, need Thinking a little bit of I'm coffee. I need, need some of my beef jerky and my coffee. You can have your coffee and jerky whenever you want. Okay. But you'd, of course, be cheating yourself from the coffee we're going to get in New Orleans. <laughs> I'm going to have some jerky. We, we can have some jerky. Sorry, uh, YouTubers. We're gonna eat some jerky without you. Yeah, yeah. November 32, Julia, verify heading 170. Uh, 170 over 32, Julia. Number 32, Julia, turn left heading 160. 160. <laughs> We just got to the apple barrel and we're gonna go to Dolphos. Thanks, man. is a manufacturer of light single engine short takeoff and landing stole aircraft based out of Moultrie, Georgia. 
and uh, they've delivered over 2,500 uh, aircraft. And in fact, this one you're looking at in the jig is unit 2603. Uh, cool thing about this jig is it is the same one that they've used for every single aircraft, uh, including you know one we're looking at right here. This looks to be the new M9, which is a 260 horsepower fuel injected latest offering from Mall with an 1,100 pound useful load. I don't know if you're like me, you like just seeing how they weld these things together, how they put them in the jig and look at how their shop is arranged. I mean, I love just learning all the little things about this and I, you know, I went in several times and each time I went in I had more questions and I learned a little bit more each time. Uh, there's a shot of the, the wings and then uh, our planes and then off to the right is uh, where this lady named Monica, and I think she's the only one that does it, uh, lays the fabric up for each aircraft that comes through there. She said it can take anywhere from uh, two weeks. If things are going really nice and the weather's working out perfect, it can be as quick as one week. And then they sit there for inspection before they go into priming. Here's a couple uh, airplanes that are ready for paint. They've just been primered and uh, you can see, you know, the last little touch-ups, uh, paint preparation is all set up right here. When you look across the factory, you see this uh, red airplane off in the distance, and uh, it doesn't look like much, kind of an old-timey thing, uh, even a little beat up, to be honest, but uh, it turns out that's the Series 1, uh, very first M4 ever built. Um, so even this airplane has gone through that jig we saw just a few minutes before, which is pretty cool. Uh, one of the things I love about uh, this is, you know, the airplanes are, are just super robust, utilitarian, like the kind of the jeep of the sky, but I also just love talking to the pilots, me and the pilots, I had just a blast getting to know, you know, how they fly, what are their tricks to get the planes off the ground and landed shortly and things like that, but uh, also it's just a family and uh, it's really cool being a part of it now, so looking forward to more flights, definitely. That's something I really appreciate because I'm still such a new pilot. You know, I've got about 160 hours and, and so much to learn. Um, so follow along with us. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to learn everything there is to know about this uh, sport career, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, I hope to, to keep learning and uh, hopefully my wife keeps coming with me on these flights. Uh, you guys have a good one. Shining out on the field, gonna hold me neath the pecan tree, gonna wash him.